this series of training slides was submitted by Kim K last year. And it was, I think it's really great because her graphics and, and presentation is much better than mine. But what it does is it details confirmation long and short and also divergence keeps it very simple. This is really, really critical. I can't, I can't overstress it. Confirmation long, highest high in price with the highest high in your cycle indicator, whatever, whatever length it is. Confirmation short, just the opposite, just as you see here. Divergence, um, non-confirmation is, um, is, is the lower low. So we're going to eventually separate that out one step further. We're going to go confirmation, non-confirmation, and divergence with actually a, like a window of opportunity moving against us. That's full-on divergence. Right here is more like diverge, non-confirmation. But you really want to be able to see this. This, it's, it's extremely critical. This will eliminate the 80, 90% of your failed breakouts. And it can't be programmed, not effectively. Um, Mark Bloom will probably argue that, but um, it really needs to be intuited and it's a huge edge. It's a massive edge over everybody else who does not understand market mechanics because what this tells you is it gives you a clue about expansion, the properties of expansion. And we've talked about that already. We, we're contextually, all we're doing is there's no predictive value to it, but it doesn't matter. We're looking for maximum expansion going into our, our, our reactions because we need to separate adverse, like favorable adverse price action from unfavorable adverse price action. If you don't get that, go back and review that until you do because it's gonna haunt you until you, until you it's gonna, in terms of failed breakouts and, and bad analysis until you do get it. So all we're doing is we're using two simple averages, whatever they are, to determine a high that has maximum expansion because the cycle right here is just simply the difference between two moving averages. So if that difference is the highest high at that point in price, if they're furthest apart at that level, that means that we now have contraction, we have expansion at that price, confirmed expansion, meaning we can assume that any reaction after that is favorable adverse price action that we can use to assume there's gonna be another run. Very simple and easy to do. But believe it or not, 99% of, of traders don't know this. And that's why everybody out they just trade a pullback and they get crushed until they're out of the game. You don't wanna do that. It's early entries like here, we're gonna focus on very early entries. We're gonna sit through these periods of expansion. But when we get in and we sit through the first period of expansion expecting favorable reaction and then continuation, we're gonna be able to exit at the high, hand our shares to the fool who's buying them there because they're now diverged or non-confirmed. It's extremely important, especially with the shorts.